friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, this is Intentional Living, and I have about 25 minutes to do this cash on stuffing and condensing, so we are going to jump right into it. I did zoom out because someone asked if I could do that, so let me know if you like this better or worse. Um, but we are gonna jump in with bills. My rent is always $16.50, so I'm gonna take that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, sixteen hundred. And then ten, twenty, thirty, forty, five, and fifty. And then this ten dollars is going to go to utilities. And next up in utilities, we've got. $220 for Duke Energy, so 51, 52, 220. And then $11 for, I think that's our gas. Oh, I need to get some ones, so let's do that. Take out a 20. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So then we're going to take a 20 out and put back 9. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then $69 for Google Fiber. So 20, 40, 60. And then 65 and 69. And then that should leave us with $60. So 20, 40, 55, and 60. Wait, no. 20, 40, 65, 70. Oh, it's because I added 10. Um, but then City of Raleigh, um, which was our sewer water, um, puts us in the negative. So we'll put all of this in here. And we are negative $46. And we're going to pull, or $36, because I added that 10 from rent. And we're gonna pull some money for some other categories. So we will come back to that. My phone bill is $60. So I'm taking all of this out. Subscriptions though. We have Peacock for $4. So I'll take out a 10 and put back six. And then a $10 monthly donation that we give to WUNC. And then Apple is $3. I'll pull out a five and put back two. That is for like iCloud storage. And then $5. And then the rest is 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we're gonna put that towards utilities. And that will take us to negative $18. We're gonna pull that from insurance. So let's actually just go ahead and add the $18 and then utilities will be done. So I'll pull back 20 and grab two ones. So we've pulled $18 out of insurance. And for insurance, uh, the insurance on my uh, engagement ring was $51. So we'll pull out a one and a 50. That's a quarterly or annual payment, I think. And then my car and renters and jewelry insurance is $106, so 100. And let's take out a 20 and put back 14. So I'll put down this one and grab a five. And then Collins, um, whatever, I forget which insurance this was at Northwestern, but that's 100. So now we should have 205, so 100, 150, 170, 190, 205, which we are gonna put all towards personal training. For the gym, I paid a $50 membership, so 40, 550, and then $30 small groups, so 20, 30. So that leaves us with 20, which I'm also gonna put towards personal training since we're trying to get ahead on that. So let's see how much we can add here. Okay, 
Okay, so we should have 1835. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a thousand. So I'm gonna put this down and grab a thousand dollar placeholder just so I can take that to the bank. And then we've got one, two, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. Get a placeholder for that. And then 600, 700, 750, 770, 790, 810, 820, 835. So 835 is here. And I think I'm out of $100 placeholders, so I need to make more. So in the meantime, I will just condense this. So we have um, 335. So we'll keep 35. And then we'll get $300 bills. So this should be 1,835 now, which is I the next payment comes out next week and that will cover that. And then we're also making progress towards um, the next one. So it's Colin's Roth, he's switching where his Roth is. So this $200 hasn't gotten pulled yet. So I am just gonna put the $200 back for him. And then we'll circle back to mine when we get there. And then Buffer has 100, so we're not touching that. And that is it for bills. Next up is our weekly spending. So in drinks, just for the sake of today, basically Colin went on a bar crawl while I was in Texas on the trip that I took. And he went to some different bars and then I got a work coffee and then we went to a place called Wine Authorities. So basically we are left with $10 in here after we take all of those out. And I'm gonna take this and put it towards eating out. So that is drinks. <clears throat> For eating out, there's a lot. So um, let's see, where does it start? So after week three and week four, we went to the state fair. We went on a date night. Um, Colin had some work meals. Um, yeah, so basically that leaves us with negative 30, negative $20 now that we've added the drinks. So we're negative 20 and we're gonna take $20 out of gas. So I'll put back 30 in gas and that will pay off our eating out. So now eating out is also at zero. In gas, We got air in our tires and gas for both of our cars. So we should be at um, $9 after we give to eating out. So we can put this down and just grab nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna try and add a one once we get a dollar just to make that 10. And then groceries. We, between Harris Teeter, Whole Foods, Food Lion, Publix, and some protein drinks up are on Amazon, we take all of this down to $1, which we're gonna put towards gas. So if we put a dollar towards gas, this becomes $10. So let's just put a 10. And now groceries is empty. My spending, I paid for parking and Walgreens visit, so that left me with $7. And then I'm gonna put this towards vacation because you'll see we are kind of in the negative with vacation. So that is what mine is going towards because that was my spending. But then for Colin, he spent money on parking and a dollar to open up a new Fidelity account. So he is left with 10. So we are gonna leave his. And then fall savings challenge, we have 20, 40, 60, 75. So we are just going to grab a 50. And we have $75 in the fall savings challenge. And that is it for our weekly spending. Next up is our long-term spending. Clothes, Costco, and coaching are all empty. So we're skipping those. But in date night, we did go to the state fair and 
we spent $40. I was like, why is it two twenties? But that's because we had two separate transactions. So date night's empty. <laughs> Fitness just has its $10. We didn't touch that. So I'm gonna leave that. Fun. Um, our tickets to the state fair were $29. So we are going to put back a one, but that will go to the $1 challenge. Gifts. Um, Colin had a colleague with a birthday, so we spent $20 on that. So we're left with $30 in gifts. For giving, we gave $5 at the state fair for something. And then there's a type one diabetes donation at work. So Colin gave $20 towards that. So we're left with 15 in giving. Haircuts, I had a haircut for $100. So 20, 40, 60, 81. So we are left with $40 in haircuts. In household, I am taking $45 out to give to toiletries and this five will be left in household. For self care, I spent $13 on a tip, so that leaves me with seven. And that says to self-care, and I don't know what that means. So I'm gonna leave it in self-care. Oh, I think I meant to take it to toiletries, so that's what I meant, so. So that is going to toiletries. So in toiletries, we just added the 45 from household and the seven from self-care. And I spent $45 on hair products, so $20.45, and then $18 at Walgreens, so $10, $15, $16, $17, and let's do $18 so that we can leave five in toiletries. This is actually going to be left with five. Woodworking didn't get touched, so it's left with 10. Yard work. Column went to Ace Hardware for $73. So let's see, we're left with 437. So one, two, three, four, 20, 35, 36, and 37. So we'll leave those ones out of it. So 435 is what's left in yard work or yard purchases. And then we have $20 in buffer. Oops. And that will do it for our long-term spending. Next up is baby blue. Starting with birthdays, I gave my dad a $50 gift card for his birthday. So we have 20, 40, 50. And then for my birthday, I went to my friend's bodybuilding show and I spent $158, so 100, 20, 40, 60. We'll put back two, we'll put those in the $1 challenge. So there's $40 left in my birthday. We did go out for dessert, so I'll pull that remaining money from that, but that hit in November, so we're not unstuffing that today. Electronics is still at fifteen hundred. Emergency fund didn't get touch, touched at seven at ten thousand. And then holidays we didn't touch, but let's see if we can condense anything. In Black Friday we have one hundred twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, two hundred. So we have two hundred in Black Friday. Medical. We have a thousand dollars, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's get a thousand dollar placeholder. So we've got a thousand in medical. And then for Rosie Girl, our dog, we spent twenty-two dollars on medications. So let's go to meds and pull out twenty-two. So we'll pull out twenty-five. One, two, 
three. And then Chewy was 27, which I think was also meds. So we'll pull out 27, so 50. Minus, okay, let's see, 50, 73. 73 minus 27, so I should have 46. 20, 45, 46, we'll put those back. And then her food was $30. So we'll pull out 30. And then let's see if we can condense. So food has 70. Treats has 20, 45, and 50. Her meds has 45. And then vet visits has one, two, three, four, five hundred. So let's put that in there. So we did get to condense that. And we are at $665 in Rosie. And then Scooter and Walkaway Fund are both empty and we didn't spend out of those. So that's it for that. On to Big Blue. We didn't do much spending out of this except for vacation. But we can condense cars. We have one, two, three, four hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, five hundred, and forty. We'll get a $500 slip. Let's see if I have one. Yes. So $540 in repairs. Love taking that to the bank. Christmas. I don't think we spent anything. Oh, we did. We spent $36 on some candy apples. So we have $100. 20, 40, 60, 75. So we will grab a 50. 175 in parents. That's all in the bank. For work, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. But we're going to pull out 36. So we're gonna be left with 64. And then let's see what we have in here. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 100. So we'll do 100 in work. And then we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll pull these out and we'll put five in events. I don't know what the candy apples are who they're for yet so I don't want to pull them out of a specific envelope home we definitely didn't spend out of but we can condense it hosting I have 100 150 170 190 195 200 so 200 in hosting now this is all in the bank and now for vacation I'm not going to go through every transaction because there's a lot but basically I went on a trip to Texas and spent a whole bunch of money that left us at negative negative three hundred and eighty eight dollars so I'm gonna take what was in here out And then I'm adding this $7. And then what we're gonna do to pay this off is I had just in my last stuffing put a bunch of money towards wedding and I'm gonna pull some out to pay this off because otherwise we'll just be paying it off next stuffing and I'll just put it back in here basically. So I'm gonna take 400 out of here. So I'm gonna take this 500 and put it down and just grab a hundred. So now in vacation, we should have 19. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, the ones will go to the $1 challenge and the 15 will go in vacation. In food and drinks. There's that. For wedding, we haven't spent anything. So this should just be a condensing. So that's all in the bank. That's all in the bank for outfits. We have 1,000, 1, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 2, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. So what I can do is put all this down and grab a $500. So now we have 1,600 in outfits. And then For welcome party, we have one, two, three, four, five hundred. Let's pull that out and get a five hundred. And then 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 245. So 20, 40, 5, and then let's get 200. five, six, seven hundred and forty five dollars. I think what I'm going to do though is make outfits a solid two thousand. So we have one thousand and then let's do the two five hundreds for a thousand. So two thousand dollars in outfits. And then for the welcome party we will have one, two, three hundred and forty-five. There we go. Okay. So that's wedding. And then real quick for my business. Taxes has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, one thousand. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So right here is a thousand because this is 100. So I'm gonna get a thousand dollar placeholder. $1,130 in taxes. Products. Um, I spent some money, but then I got a refund, so I'm left with 131. We'll put the one in the $1 challenge, so 130 is what's left. Equipment. I went in the negative, but then I got $55 from office. 20, 40, 60. So that left me with $3 in equipment, which will go to the $1 challenge. Shipping, we should have 250, 70, 90, 200. So I'm gonna grab a prop. And then office should be left with 15, it is. Marketing and $2 bills, we have 500, 600. So then we have 50, 70, 90, another 100. So that makes it 700. And then 15. Taking that to the bank. And then for bills for my business, we didn't have any come out. So we'll just condense. So 20 in Instant Ink, 20 in QuickBooks, YouTube Premium's got 10, Amazon has 125 and 30, so we'll grab a 20, 
Canva has 10. Cricut has 10. Sorry if I'm going fast, I gotta leave. Um, P.O. Box has 10. And then for emergency funds, we've got five, six, 700, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 900, and 10. Professional development, we didn't spend out of. But we have 400 and 55. And then for my Roth IRA, we are taking whatever we saved to the bank, which was $235. Do the bank so I can deposit that into my Roth and invest it. Okay. Whew. Rapid fire that one, but let's count and see how much we are taking to the bank. We got a bunch of prop that I'm gonna pull out. In terms of the cold hard cash, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, four thousand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five thousand. There's five thousand. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty six, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty seven, twenty, forty. 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, so 6,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 7, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, so 7,000. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 95, 3. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 400. And 1, 2, 3. So... We've got five, six, seven thousand, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, and three dollars. So seven thousand nine hundred and three dollars is what we're taking to the bank. Getting out of the house. And then for the one dollar challenge, we are adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 dollars to the one dollar challenge. And that will do it for today's video. So thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you my next